Um, well, about 1.46 a.m., I got a call from Amanda, and all she said was, Nikki, you need to go to the hospital. We found Brooklyn not breathing, and then she hung up. So um, I had my mom drive me to the hospital because I was in no shape to drive. When we got to the hospital, um, they wouldn't let us out in the back where the exam rooms are. I was trying my hardest to get out there. Um, um, Waterville PD came and talked to me <laughs> about trying to get out there. Um, the first thing that Amanda said to me, the only thing really that she said to me um, before we went in was, why does this kind of thing happen to me all the time? Talking about why her? And I was just Uh, you know, I really didn't even recognize that she said it while I was there. It was like an after the thing, after the fact thing, when I was sitting and thinking. And I'm like, really, is that what she said to me? Um, after they had brought me in and told me that Brooklyn didn't make it, they did an interview for about two hours, or it felt like it was two hours. Um, they brought us back, brought me back to the waiting area, and they went and got Amanda and her daughter and interviewed them. Well, Amanda was going, Amanda and her daughter were getting ready to leave, and it was like she wasn't even gonna stop on the way out. And at this point, I didn't have any indication of what happened. You know, I was, you know, thinking in the back of my mind, you know, this must be SIDS or maybe her RSV came back. Um, What's RSV? RSV is a respiratory disease. Um, it's like, you know, when you get that harsh cold when it turns from winter to, to spring and you have a lot of phlegm when you cough up, it's that. But of course the phlegm is adult size, so in her little tubes they couldn't go through. Days old, and she had gotten the cold. Um, I had rushed her to Reddington Fairview Hospital because I was starting to see a little tinge of blue around her lips, and she was constantly gasping. And so I brought her in, and they ended up bagging her. They, they bagged her for about I'd say five hours. They called Life Flight to bring us to Bangor. <clears throat> um, what well, does that mean to bag someone? To breathe for them with an oxygen, with a bag, squeeze in the bag, um, with the thing over their mouth. Um, they were trying to get IV access, trying to find a vein to get IV access, and they were having a hard time. They did end up getting IV access when the Life Flight team had got there, and then they intubated her you know, putting the tube down the throat. Um, she was like that for several days in the Bangor Hospital in ICU. Um, so when she was released from Bangor, I mean, of course it wasn't completely gone because, you know, it takes a long time for a cold sometimes to go away. Um, but she was doing a lot better. When, um, when they got ready, to, when Amanda and her daughter got ready to leave the hospital, that's all I could think was, you know, this is, you know, this must be what happened. So they were leaving, and she wasn't even going to stop and say bye. And I, you know, I stopped her. I'm like, hey, Amanda, I said, are you leaving? And she turned with this, you know, horrible look when she was looking at me, and she says, I have two kids to get ready for camp, of course I'm leaving, and she just walked out. You know, I didn't get, never get an I'm sorry or anything, and it just kind of struck me weird as, you know, this is my friend and this happened to my baby in her house. You know, thinking to myself, if that would have been me with my friend's baby, I probably would have been right by her side. I would have canceled everything for the day, you know? I just couldn't fathom what I had talked to her one other time after that and she got just as snippy and I was just like whatever and I just didn't talk to her again and then after that is when I started finding out all the little details 
um, them letting me know that the medical examiner finished the autopsy portion and gave her a clean bill of health, that nothing medical was wrong with her. And that right there devastated me.